Once we get offers on your home, that is when the fun begins. It can be stressful if you don't receive the amount of offers that you were hoping for, but don't worry, that is why you hire a good negotiator like us. Knowing how to properly negotiate on your behalf is essential, not only to get you the most amount of money for your home, but also on negotiating the best terms. Once we receive offers on your home, there are a few essential steps that we need to take prior to meeting with you to discuss the offers. First, we vet all of the buyers by calling their agents and their lenders to make sure that the buyer is truly qualified. We verify funds, ask critical questions, find out about how motivated and in love with your property the buyer is. During this process, we also are getting to learn about the buyer's agent and lender themselves to see how much experience they have, if they've properly educated the buyer, and to get an idea as to how they are going to be to work with. Believe it or not, the buyer's agent is just as important to ensuring the deal will close as the buyer's qualification. After vetting the buyers, their realtors, and lenders, then we will compile all of the information from all of the offers into a spreadsheet so that you will have it all at a glance. Then we will meet with you to discuss the offers and review the terms. We will give you our advice on the offers in regards to the pros and cons of each, but ultimately you make the decision as to which offer you take and what to counter. Now at this time, if you've countered one or more of the offers, the buyers can choose to accept your terms or to counter you back. You have the opportunity to choose which offer you would like to take at this time, and again we will advise you as to the pros and cons of each. Once you've made your final decision, then you sign that offer and you are officially under contract. Watch the next video to see what happens now and what to expect regarding timelines.